Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for Gadgetify.com. Today I'm reviewing Shure SM10A CN headphone dynamic microphone. The goal and the target for this microphone is for people who are doing broadcasts or e-learning sessions. Because of the fact that it's a dynamic microphone, it tends to pick up less noise in your room. Now it's not soundproof, you have to make sure your place is acoustically optimized for your recording sessions. You're going to have to have the bright material, maybe use a sound filter, something like that, and also use EQ to make sure you get the best quality possible from such a microphone. Now, the reason I got this was I use XA10, the, mic the camera that I'm using right now, to record, and it's a semi kind of pro-ish uh, it's advertised as a pro camera and it has a lot of features pro camcorder, but um, it's not the most expensive one, one around and it does have some limitations. But in order to get the most out of it, you are going to need a decent ca microphone and I use ME64, which is a pretty decent shotgun-ish. It's not a full, it's not a whole shotgun, it's close. So... I use that to, because of, I, I, I got that instead of MA66, because of the fact that MA64 is a little bit shorter, so it fits on the XA10 camera. I'm sure you, those of you who have this camcorder have had issues finding the right microphone, and I know there are, Rode has some microphones, Audio-Technica, that they have some microphones that you can use. But the goal for this particular microphone here is for e-learning when you're moving around and you're moving your head and you don't want to get feedback or noise and it's more com convenient if you're doing li live broadcasts and live performances so Put the box away. So you get this solid shore packaging, which is very nice because when you get a camera or a, a microphone, you want to make sure that it's delivered to you without any issues. So let's just open it. Now I have cheated it a little bit. I have opened this in the past. I am in the process of actually returning this and I'm gonna explain why. But um, you get a guide. You get warranty information, you get foam, you get these bubble thingies. You get registration, I haven't registered it. You get a guide for how to use the microphone. So if you have no idea how to talk to a microphone like this, you don't put it in front of your mouth and you, you have to put it on the side. So now this microphone is highly adjustable. You can move these around so you can put it around your head. This can be also position adjusted. So let's say you talk to it like that. You want to make sure there is a lock section here that you can move it around. That gives you more flexibility as far as moving this forward or back. You want to make sure you get the distance right for the microphone. And this is also adjustable. And it's well made. It looks good too. Uh, it's not the, the smallest headphone microphone so as far as the connector it's the XLR connector 
which is a professional qual professional level connection and you, you are going to need an XLR like SL XLR like connection audio interface let's say or if your camera for instance like XA10 it has a XLR connection two connections that you can use two channels to connect external microphones now the problem I had with this with, with XA10 was the sound quality I just could not get high enough sound quality out of it for some reason and then I said okay maybe it doesn't have enough gain to power this dynamic microphone maybe it's a quiet dynamic microphone which is pretty standard you get SM7B for instance and it's very quiet you get RE20 and that's very quiet now I wouldn't expect it from a I wouldn't expect this particular model to be more quiet but um, that's what happened and I, I was also getting a lot of hiss so which a little bit defeated the purpose because I had to do more audio editing before uploading videos for my part particular case I didn't want to do that as far as the um, specifications just gonna go through it. It's a close talk like dynamic microphone. So the frequency response of 50 to 15. And um, it's an Excel art micro type microphone. And it's about 27, 2.7 ounces if you don't count the cable and the connector. So it's not that heavy, it's pretty solid. These, these move around, you have the lock, you have a pretty decent size audio cable, but you can always get extensions. And um, this moves back forth if uh, so you can position it the right way. Should you get this microphone? I don't know, it really comes down. You really have to test the quality of sound before you can make a decision like that. I've had this problem. I personally use this little microphone. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. It's SM7B by Shure. It's probably the best microphone for podcasting. And I would put it above RE20 because of the fact that in, in a room like mine, that it's not completely optimized for recording audio it picks the less noise as far as when you compare it to RE20 it picks up much less noise now it's not noticeable if you just don't pay attention to those kinds of things when you're listening to your audio uh, but if you're an audio engineer you every little hiss or every every little noise you're gonna notice and obviously a lot of it you can get rid of it and EQ system that you have in place so that's about it this is sure head worn microphone it's a dynamic one unlike many of the other ones that are not dynamic a lot of them are just condenser type microphones they pick up a lot more noise so you want to be aware of that and to be honest you have to test it out for hundred dollars it's not bad if you do if you have time to do a lot of audio editing and getting rid of the noise um, for what I had in mind and I and I wanted to have some microphone that was the, the same quality of me 64 or close to it, it it was really not a close competition me 64 it's a shotgun type microphone and um, it was even a dumb move to get this microphone hoping and praying that it was going to be close as far as quality but for e-learning projects this might work so I hope you enjoyed this you can get this from BH Photo Amazon and other um, outlets for microphones for more information for more gadgets please go to Gadgetify.com and I'll be back with more microphone reviews in the future thanks very much for watching guys